After all, the tin frame is simply a 2 by 5 rectangular grid into which circular counters are drawn to demonstrate numbers less than or equal to 10. Man, that's some straight up gobbledygook right there. I too am confused by the gooking of the gobbledy. So instead of us using numbers, we're supposed to draw circles? I thought we was doing math, not arts and crafts. Don't get hung up on the circles. They're only there to represent number values and can be whatever shape you want them to be. Oh, really? Then can we change them to your baby hands? <laughs> <laughs> no, you cannot change them into baby hands. But you said they could be whatever we want. And we choose the baby hands. Baby, baby hands, hands, baby hands, baby hands! Baby hands. Stop! <laughs> Give me that! Ah, uh, we're just having some fun, Robin. Common core math isn't supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be boring and educational. Now, let's forget about the 10 frame and move on. But we still haven't learned nothing, yo! That's okay, because I guarantee you'll understand this next common core lesson, which uses line segments as anchors. These anchors are simply used to break big numbers into smaller number bonds to simplify the problem. Well, that problem doesn't look simplified to me. Indeed, it looks the way more complicated. Yeah, man, you can be adding in a bunch of numbers all willy-nilly like that. No, 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 no! Listen, Titans! If you want to stop the calculator, you need to take this common core math stuff seriously. But we are taking it this seriously, Robin. Then why aren't you guys getting this? Because this math is overly complicated and way too confusing. All them parents was right. No, they're not. Six-year-olds can understand common core math. Wait a second. <laughs> That's it! What's it? You guys just need six-year-old brains! I can make that happen. Great! Azeroth Metrion Zeus! <laughs> Ooh! I can talk like the goat! The ba! The ba! Look, 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 look how fast I can run! Check out my dance! Check out my dance! Check out my dance! Hey! What? I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. See? I'm not touching you. Ooh, look, an apple! Yeah. High energy, short attention spans. Yep, you definitely have the minds of six-year-olds. Now oh, let's see if you can learn common core math. Congratulations, Titans! You now have the one thing no parent in America has! A basic understanding of common core math. And...
Oh. It makes me want to learn and grow as a person. Too optimistic, basket case! Stick to your label! We need to be on the lookout for a bully so this all-American boy can take him down. Actually, I gotta get to English class, Robin. Me too. I'll come with, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You two cannot hang out. But why not? They are the best of friends. What about their labels? Look at this massive jock. He's gorgeous with his big muscles and handsome face. There's no way he'd be friends with a nerd. Just look at him. He's so small and awkward, always studying, talking about wizards and dragons all the time. Wizards? You think you can break down social boundaries, nerd? Not on my watch. We've been here five minutes, and you already got us in detention? Well, when I see a bully, I take him down. <laughs> no regrets. That's just the way of the all-American boy. All-American boy? More like crazy crane-kicking guy. I am still unsure who exactly was the bully in that situation. What, you didn't see this nerd trying to bully his way into hanging out with this cool jock? Why do you care about labels so much? Maybe there's more to us than what's on the surface, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's ridiculous. We all have our parts to play, and now that I trashed a bully, my next part is to become student body president. <laughs> Dude, I made it! I made the team! That's what's up! I never thought I'd be competing in an academical decathlon! Friends, Raven has the most wonderful news! It's just an article in the school paper star. Turns out I love writing. It's a great way to share all the feelings that I keep bottled up. We're learning so much about ourselves, yo! School is the place to be! Vote Robin for student body president! Progress is his middle name! Ah! What is he doing? Oh no! He must think he is having one of the naked in school dreams. Wait. Aren't people usually terrified when they have that dream? <laughs> Vote Robin! <laughs> Vote Robin! <laughs> Vote Robin! Break it down now! He's really owning it! He probably just thinks he'll wake up any second. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, boy! Now that's how you run for office! Dude, you are naked! In school! I know! <laughs> Thank you. 
Science? <laughs> you are going to teach us science? You can't even tie your shoes. That's right, because Mr. B don't got laces. <gasps> now stop disrupting my class, or you guess a check mark. I don't believe this. That's better. Now, what do you kitty kids want to learn about sciences today? Why are buildings so tall? How many pancakes can I eat? Ooh, why is the sky blue? Good one, Star. That's today's lesson. Oh, come on. Everybody knows the sky is blue because the sun reflects the blue ocean. Nah, son, nah. Then why don't you tell us? I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna show you. A magic van? There's no magic in science! Hey, settle down! You want a check mark? No. Then get your butt in the magic van! <laughs> Ooh! Uh huh, uh huh. All right, check it! Science time! So, yo! The sun's over there, and it's blowing sunlight all over the place, right? Now, that sunlight is all the colors of the rainbow. So, in a rainbow, you got blue, right? So them blues get up in here, up high around the earth ball, okay? And then, they all get friendly with the gases, and all the gases all in up, they're all like, what up, what up, what up? And then the light that is blue, that's all, they're all like, what up, dude, how you been? And that's how, you know, that's how the, the sky's blue now. Everything. You just said, it's nonsense. No, I get it. The gas particles high up in the atmosphere reflect the blue light. Which gives the sky its blue color. That's what's up. Yo, Mr. B, how come the sky is orange or red sometimes? Bro, it's like this. Up in that rainbow, you got red and orange, right? Well, when the sun goes down, the blues are all like, later, because they ain't going to be high, up high no more, right? So then the oranges and the reds get all low, 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 and other stuff up in there and all around up in there. And they're all like, yes, 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 my dude, yes. Oh, so the particles lower in the atmosphere reflect the red and orange light. Because they travel further as the earthly sun is setting. <sighs> he is speaking gibberish. Stop interrupting my class. That's a check mark. Mm -mm -mm. You need to get your act together, young man. That you know, son, now that you're grown up, it's time we had a heart-to-heart -heart talk about the facts of life. First of all, you're a dog. And there's three things a dog's got to know how to do. First, a dog's got to know how to be man's best friend. That comes in two easy positions. The begging position, with the big, sad, soulful eyes. And the lion at the master's feet position. Also with the big, sad, soulful eyes. Now the second thing a dog has to know is how to bury bones. Why? I don't know. I can never find them after I bury them. <laughs> That's what dogs is supposed to do. Third, 
and most important, all dogs gotta know how to chase cats, which happens to be my specialty. Now, if we had a cat... <laughs> What a coincidence. Watch me. This always scares them out of their skin. Shh. Son? I'll be right back. I gotta have a talk with this character. Listen, pussycat. My boy's learning to chase cats. And I don't want him to have any trouble. Understand? When he starts barking, you start climbing. Is that clear? Okay, then. Let's go. Okay, son, it's your turn now. <laughs> nice sweet boy. Hey, that kid ain't joshing. Look at that. <laughs> A chip off of that old block. That's what you are, son. A chip off of that old block. Yes, sir. A father's son barbecue. <laughs> That's my boy. The first thing we need, son, is a nice hot fire. There she goes. The next step is the charcoal. <laughs> There's nothing like good old hickory smoke for flavor, son. <laughs> and finally comes Dog's best friend. A juicy, tender, delicious steak. Star, no offense, but you are not qualified to teach grammar. Robin, please refrain from the interruptions. I do not wish to give you the mark of the checks. But if I must, I will. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Class, today we will learn the use of the word the. Now, can anyone tell where the sentence is missing the word the? Uh, you don't need the in that sentence. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, Raven? I am filled with feelings of the happiness. Good start, but the sentence is still lacking the thus. I am the filled with the feelings of the happiness. Oh, you are missing a few more of the thus. Hmm. Oh, I got it. The, I, the, am, the filled, the, with the, feelings the, of the happiness the. Oh, yes, the full of the wonders that you have correctly worded the sentence. Ah, it isn't correct. The point of grammar is to communicate clearly. Who can understand anyone talking like this? The robin, the can, the not, the under, the scan, the us, the. The, but the, we are, the speaking, the clearly, the. The some, the people, the cling, the to, the their, the own, the ignorance, the. The so, the sand. This is a farce, a farce! Uh-uh, it is the farce, Robin. You have done the disrupting of the class, and I must do the giving of the mark of the checks. The no, the no! <laughs> It's okay, dude. Grammar's not your strong suit. But I think you'll have a better reaction and bond with the lesson I'm about to teach. Please don't teach chemistry. Too late! Welcome to chemistry. 
I'm your teacher, Mr. Cyborg, but y'all can call me Dr. Love. I will not call you Dr. Love. Dr. Love, I put a check mark on that. Fine! Dr. Love, this is not chemistry. It's all the same, my love. When you just want to dance, but you're way too shy. And a cuter steps to you, and she says hi. Oh, hi. When a fly guy and a fly girl in the hallway meet. I don't you know that he gets sweaty paws and she gets itchy feet. Oh, yeah. You see, chemistry is a gift from the heart, like a great big hugger when you're holding up a hug. When you get that special feeling for a boy or a girl, and you really want to share it with the whole wide world. Oh, it's